Someone is dead after a crash so powerful. Check this out. It shook a home right off of its foundation. The pictures are absolutely incredible. Nine on your side's Tony Morones has been looking into this all day. He tells us it could take a while to get to the bottom of how this crash happened. This was supposed to be where Rick Perry and his wife were going to retire, but a tractor trailer came off of the road, crashed into it, and knocked it off these support beams that was supposed to protect it from the Ohio River and flooding. Investigators try to piece together what happened this morning when the truck 62 year old David Wesley drove, ran off the road, and crashed into a house 200 yards away down an embankment. It bothers me more about the person that died than this, believe me. Yeah. Really, because you don't know if the guy's got a family, and I'm a driver. This accident drives home the very reason Rick Perry was rehabbing this house. I hate it because I bought it for my retirement, and I've been working on it for about the past three years, redoing it so I could retire and kick back and relax and take it easy. The semi tore down the hill about 60 feet deep through a tree line and stopped. The semi went underneath the house. And um, the occupant of the, the semi was about midway point of the home. We respond to, to uh, at least one to two accidents a year involving a semi with a coil of steel in the back of it. There were no tread marks on the road from breaking. The weather was nearly perfect. Now investigators try to figure out what happened. And it may come down to the Switzerland County coroner to figure out if Wesley had a medical condition that could have caused the accident. Hey, wait, DOT. Yeah, As for no Perry, way. an insurance adjuster was there to try to figure out what could be salvaged of his home. Instead, Perry's more concerned with the driver. I mean, this can be replaced, so he can't. Tony Moronis, 9 on your side, Jefferson Township, Indiana.